Sources are telling us, this is sources informing us about the Central Bureau of Investigation examining Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal in Tihar Jail and recording a statement related to the excise policy case. CBI also has got permission of Arvind Kejriwal's production before the concerned trial court tomorrow. He will be produced before the court tomorrow. This is a massive development even as uh, the lawyers of uh, Arvind Kejriwal have in fact uh, said that they would be approaching the Supreme Court tomorrow after the High Court has not ruled in favor of Arvind Kejriwal. There's a reaction coming in from the Aam Aadmi Party. Let's quickly listen in. Jurm atyachar jati ki intiha ho gai hai. Vishwas sutro se jankari mili hai ki aise samay mein jab Supreme Court se Arvind Kejriwal ji ko jamanat milne ki puri sambhavna hai usse pehle kendra ki bhajpa sarkar ne सीबीआई के अधिकारियों के साथ मिलकर एक बड़ी साजिश रची है और यह साजिश है अरविंद केजरीवाल के खिलाफ सीबीआई का फर्जी मुकदमा तैयार करके उनको गिरफ्तार करने की पूरा देश देख रहा है बीजेपी की जाति पूरा देश देश देख रहा है केंद्र सरकार बिग डेवलपमेंट कमिंग इन संजय सिंह मेकिंग एन एलिगेशन दैट अरविंद केजरीवाल वुड बी अरेस्टेड लेट्स गो क्रॉस टू भवतोष सिंह हु इज जॉइनिंग अस न्यूज़ एडिटर भवतोष दिस इज अ बिग डेवलपमेंट एनी व्हिच वे यू लुक एट इट बिकॉज़ ऑल ऑफ दिस इज हैपनिंग व्हाइल द प्रोसीडिंग्स आर ऑन इन द कोर्ट इज देयर एनी कंफर्मेशन फ्रॉम द सीबीआई बिकॉज़ आम आदमी पार्टी सेज दैट देयर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ हिम बीइंग अरेस्टेड so mother what we can confirm to our viewers are two three things one is media had taken permission from the court to question arvind kejriwal that questioning went uh, uh, on monday and also on tuesday that's today and uh, uh, the cbi top sources the cbi have denied that he has been arrested but uh, there are reports that he will be produced before the concerned court tomorrow at around 10 am now so what can happen is that after his questioning he can be in fact uh, this is in judicial custody that is for the concerned court or because the courts are on vacation he can can seek his custody by producing it before the vacation is he was like it now we can tell the courts is that the officers are in this case remember the question is not all right All right, Bhavtosh. I think we are losing that phone line, but a big development coming in. Let's quickly take this back to our panelists who are joining us uh, ahead of what's happening in the court. Sanju Verma, you have a situation where the Aam Aadmi Party is, uh, you know, coming out to say that this is sign of uh, dictatorship. Your response to this development? You know, Madhav. Let's be very clear. Tomorrow, the uh, you know uh, Supreme Court will listen uh, to the uh, Arvind Kejriwal and ED bail plea case. and today the delhi high court has already rejected the bail of arvind kejriwal clearly saying that the trial court judge bindu did not sufficiently listen to the submissions given by the enforcement directorate in the trial court which means that indirectly the delhi high court realized and said it in as many words that the enforcement directorate claimed that the trial court's order was perverse is right now coming to the cbi i said this on your debate last time that apart from the ed case there is a cbi case against aam aadmi party on three counts section 420 cheating and criminal conspiracy section 120b and section 477a pertaining to falsification of accounts pertaining to the delhi liquor scam and money laundering hmm. so the cbi and ed cases will be heard concomitantly the ed case in the supreme court and the cbi case perhaps in the delhi high court or the lower court the trial court but hmm. one thing i can tell you you know all those people who were saying oh arvind kejriwal ko regular bail mil jayegi the court today clearly said just because kejriwal was given interim bail that was no ground for the trial court to have awarded him a regular bail also because under section 45 giving a regular bail to somebody is as good as giving him an acquittal and kejriwal cannot be acquitted currently because the die is rolled against him in terms of the fact that there are okay enough proofs to showcase that he abused his power and misused Let me bring in Fazan on that point. Fazan, you know, lot of stringent observations that the judge had not taken into account the arguments that had been put forward by the ED today. All of that coming in from the High Court. But notwithstanding all of that, uh, how would you look at what uh, the CBI has done in this particular case in terms of interrogating Arvind Kejriwal, examining Arvind Kejriwal, and recording his statement related to the excise policy case? Because Aam Aadmi Party says that this is just the first step, and perhaps his arrest. 
See, Madhav, till now, a proper money trail has not been found. These are just speculations on which Mr. Arvind Kejriwal and other Aam Aadmi Party members were arrested. Even uh, the lower court where Mr. Arvind Kejriwal, which uh, gave Mr. Arvind Kejriwal the bail, it also said that there is no money trail. So why uh, the, uh, you cannot hold the chief minister inside the jail until unless you have something concrete. The trial has not started. And in, in Mr. Yadurappa's case, uh, uh, he was let off by the courts. They're saying that you cannot uh, just keep an uh, um, elected uh, chief minister inside the jail. So uh, how can you have two standards, one for Mr. Yadurappa and one for Arvind Kejriwal? Things should be things should be equal for everybody. And as far as Mr. Kejriwal is concerned, I am sure the people of India, the people of Delhi and people everywhere, they're just seeing how Narendra Modi and Bharti Janta Party are using the institutions unethically for their political benefits. And eventually this thing will get sorted out mm. because uh, the opposition is not weak the way it was earlier. Okay. The people will eventually speak against Bharti Janta Party and remember in elections to come. In Maharashtra, in Uttar Pradesh, the okay. moment the elections happen. I want to start to respond to that. We are not weak. We are going to respond, say, opposition parties, Tushar. How do you respond to this? But what role does the opposition have in the judicial proceedings? Unless this panelist is saying that the opposition is going to try to intimidate the judiciary, I really don't know what he means when he says the opposition is not weak enough. Firstly, the opposition is only Congress which has increased its tally by 40 odd seats. But again, that doesn't under make sense as to how will you interfere with the judicial proceedings. Arvind Kejriwal got a 21 day exception. Tushar, let me ask you, let me court. ask you a simple Apex question. Their point is when there is, the Lok Sabha. when the matter no, the is matter before the courts of the country, why is the CBI getting into this? Is it just a coincidence that CBI is examining Mr. Kejriwal today? That's a question that perhaps the opposition party is asking. No. No. No, no, no. Uh, CBI was already investigating the case. The agencies have been investigating the case in separate charges as also stated by Sanju Verma. But Madhav, since the panelist was talking about the people of the country looking at this, Arvind Kejriwal went to the people of Delhi and what did he say? Aap mujhe vote do, wo mujhe jail nahi bhejenge. Ye unki bhasha thi, ye unki line thi. Ghar ghar gaye, gali gali gaye, bola aap mujhe vote do, wo mujhe jail nahi bhejenge. Hmm. Delhi ki janta ne kya kiya? 7-0 to the BJP. The collective alliance of the Congress and the Aam Aadmi Party was rejected. Kejriwal's request, plea, whatever you want to call it, was rejected. So mm. when the opposition says that the people of India are watching, indeed they are watching. And they have rejected the self-victimization of politicians who are under investigation. They mm. want the law to take its own course. So the opposition being weak or strong, it does not matter at all. The okay. law will take its course. It's that simple. Okay, the law will take its own course, Kamru Zaman. Chaudhary, what is really the attempt over here of, you know, or the idea of saying that we are not weak anymore? The judiciary is, of course, self-sufficient. They will find out or they will act as per the law. Why prejudge that or why even pass any kind of commentary on that? Kamru Zawan. Listen, I will not get into the legal side what the courts or the honorable judges are saying out this. As a layman, as an ordinary citizen of this country, the entire liquor gate uh, started some two years back. And leaders of the Ahmadmi party or some other political parties or independent persons are behind bars without a fair trial. People like Arvind Kejriwal, people like, uh, like uh, Jitan, Satendra Jain or XYZ of the Ahmadmi party are behind bars without even the trial being started. The judge also noted that are these people ordinary citizens? The ED seems to be holding a vengeance against Arvind Kejriwal. That was the statement of the vacation judge whom you are criticizing right now. That is not the point out here. You see a history sheeter in no, no, a no, local... Criticize. Let, let, uh, me local one, let me just criticize. Let me just criticize. Let me just... Kamal Chaudhary, I have to clarify this. We are not criticizing any judge. Today, what the High Court has said has only been stated by certain people. We are only quoting what the High Court has said. There's no question of anyone criticizing any judge on this panel. We certainly don't do that on the show. Carry on. Noted. Fine noted. Point is that in an ordinary case of a history sheeter, where he gets arrested under a particular case, the court comes up, hears his argument and mm. grants him bail. 
द मोमेंट ही इज अबाउट टू बी रिलीज अनदर अनदर पुलिस पर्सन फ्रॉम ए डिफरेंट थाना कम्स इन एंड अरेस्ट हिम ऑन ए डिफरेंट केस दैट वे द हिस्ट्री शीटर इज केप्ट बिहाइंड द बार फॉर टू टू थ्री इयर्स बाय द टाइम ही इज काम डाउन वॉट एवर इट इज इज रिफॉर्म एंड ही इज देन लेफ्ट इन टू द सोसाइटी ओके द नॉर्मल प्रॉक्टिस फॉर इंडियन जस्टिस वॉट इज दू डू दिस केस आई एम वेरी सॉरी बट फॉर एन अरविंद केजरीवाल ए सिटिंग दैट्स वॉट आई एम सेंग the ed the case is going to be heard tomorrow in the supreme court and today tonight you are having cbi landing up in the jail hmm. just to question arvin kejriwal or maybe get him arrested so it's not a coincidence sanju verma it's not a coincidence that just court. ahead of the hearing now, you have the, the cbi CBI landing case. up in jail and interrogating him that's the point that is being made here by kamru zaman choudhury and others mahabab let me be very clear now i don't want to be interrupted i heard kamru zaman very carefully the ed case is with respect to primarily section 45 money laundering for which arvind kejriwal has been denied bail repeatedly by the delhi high court and supreme court the supreme court will again hear the case tomorrow that is point number 1 the cbi case was already filed 7 months back this pertains to uh, 477a falsification of accounts this pertains to cheating 420 and this pertains to 120b criminal conspiracy for which arvind kejriwal in his capacity as the head honcho of aam aadmi party is facing prosecution and pro these are the first two points the third point is this when you sit here and say that the bjp is using the enforcement directorate you know cbi is a handmaiden of the bjp somebody spoke about yedurappa do you know something mother yedurappa was arrested in 2011 of course he was then released subsequently from jail but his final hearing in the supreme court happened in 2021 almost for 10 years yedurappa was in and out of various trial courts so don't sit here and lecture the bjp this is the same congress which arrested j jayalalitha arrested mm. k karunanidhi arrested shibu soren arrested the newly minted friend lalu prasad yadav arrested madhu kora arrested devi lal arrested om prakash chautala are congress has a history of arresting virtually every single opposition leader and you are today sitting here and giving a bhashan to the bjp the judiciary ki dhajjiya humne udhai hai and mm. as far as akhilesh yadav is concerned this is the same akhilesh yadav madhav who went in 2006 2008 and 2010 to the allahabad high court saying that hanuman ghat par jo bomb blast hua tha wo indian mujahideen ne nahi kiya indian mujahideen to bekasoor hai look at the audacity of Okay. No, no. That's. I, I don't want to bring in terror with these kind of uh, cases of money laundering and where there is alleged political corruption. I think the two are very qualitatively different. But I want to bring in Monojit Mandal. Monojit Mandal. These are two separate offences. The agencies are probing to separate aspects and violations of law. I want you to respond to what Sanju Verma is saying. This is how pathetic the number of convictions, the percentage of convictions of EDCBI we have discussed. You have been talking about Sharda now the case. How many years the cases have been going on, and what is the result? I want to know from CBI and ED. And in the same breath, I also want to know why Mr. Subindu Odhikari, charged of the same cases in Nagda, is still out on bail. Why he is not being arrested? I think these are farces, mother. Only the opposition leaders have been targeted. We have been debating for the last last eight, eight seven, eight years. So again, the same thing has been done to chief minister, two chief minister, two sitting chief ministers in the in this country at this point in time are in jail. Never has happened in the history of this country. In mm. 75 years of history of this country, two sitting chief ministers were simultaneously put in jail. And despite that, BJP could not win the election. Please be wary about that. Delayed elections are coming, and Aam Aadmi Party and Mr. Arvind Kejriwal will come back again. BJP, CBI, ED, income tax—all of their long arms could not win them the election. They won't be able to or muzzle the voice of the people. They could not do it in Bengal. They could not do it in UP. They could not do it in you know Jharkhand. They could not do it in Maharashtra. They could not do it in Delhi. They won't be able to do it in the rest of the country. Right. Be be rest assured. The opposition is going to come back stronger and stronger in each and every election, state election that are going to take place. From the end of this year, I want Tushar to come in on that point because Tushar, here you have the opposition which is saying that uh, you know this has been completely misused in terms of the provisions of law, in terms of the agencies, and it has been used to target opposition leaders. At least two chief ministers who have been targeted, who have been arrested just before elections, and this state of affairs, this misuse of agencies, as alleged by the opposition parties, will not continue. 
You know, Madhav, defending Arvind Kejriwal, some panelists have started adopting his famous odd-even rule. On an odd day, when Arvind Kejriwal gets relief from the court, democracy is alive, the judiciary is fair and square, everything is hunky-dory. On a day he is not given relief by the courts, oh, there is dictatorship, oh, the people are watching. I mean, the opposition should really make up its mind as to how they feel about the judiciary. You cannot be cursing the judiciary one day and hailing it the other. It's that simple. The people have been watching what has been going on in the liquor policy scam. Manish Sisodia, the deputy chief minister of Delhi, has been behind bars. The people have seen that. Arvind Kejriwal has been behind bars. The people have seen that and they have given their mandate. Only three seats in Punjab of the 13 and zero seats in Delhi. So if you're going to sit here and pretend that the people are watching as this dictatorship is going on, this is absolutely political crap. That's all it is. Okay. People will have to understand that the law will Malangu, take its own course. If you have a yeah. qualm against how Arvind Kejriwal is being treated, no, if uh, you have a problem with how Arvind Kejriwal is being treated, take it in the courts. You want to talk about the trial court. The high court has dismissed the order of the trial court, the, the bail order, saying that it was unfair. You were hailing the trial court's order when it suited you. Today, you're criticizing the high court when it suits you. Tomorrow, you'll abuse the Supreme Court because it suits you. I'm mm. sorry, but that is not how it works. Yeah. The law will take its own course. Then investigating agencies are doing their job. And if you feel they are not doing their job properly, the courts will pull them up. But for now, Arvind Kejriwal has no relief from the courts. That's about it. All Why right, all right. Such a big fuss about it, I don't really understand. All right, I'd like to thank all our guests for joining us this evening. Sanju Verma, Tushar Gupta, as well as Kamru Zaman Chaudhary, Fezan Kidwai, and uh, of course, uh, Saeed Hafiz. Earlier, we had Kohe Satyan and Nikul Patel as well. Professor Monajit Mandal also with us on the show. I'd like to thank all of you for joining us. It's been a very, very newsy evening from Rahul Gandhi's announcement as LOP to Arvind Kejriwal being visited by the CBI in Tihar jail. Certainly all eyes on tomorrow's case as well because both of these stories are going to continue here tomorrow and join us for all the latest updates and breaking news right here through the day tomorrow. Thanks so much for joining me this evening.